well, you know, it was, you know, it was going to be important because it was mild. But you know, you know, at that time, you know, it was like kind of blue. Everybody went in for a session. It was just a, you know, it was a session. And that was it. And nobody knew 50 years later that kind of blue is still the biggest selling record of Miles. Um, so again, you know, I think Miles was aware of. His effect on changing the direction of music, but at the po that point he was in a in a, a work in progress, like being in the studio every day, trying different things. You know, actually really working off grooves, not a lot of complicated uh, written music. And uh, Tio Macero, his producer, was uh, uh, you know his partner in editing that and putting it together, so it made some sense. So, you know, it, it was fun just playing, being in the same room with all the other musicians, you know. And then um, after it came out, you know, it uh, really had an effect on the crossover and getting a lot of rock players and a lot of other genres into jazz, you know, from that point. From that. And then, of course, you know, Miles went on to just uh, be a pop jazz icon.